Back here. Everybody follow me. It's legendary. Just like boom. Unbelievable. How many places are you gonna go and see a green horse? We are having a blast. <laughs> Someone that must catch up. Ketchup. This is the way we do it. Delicious. I think it's gonna work out. Welcome to this special edition of the Tar Heel Traveler. I'm Scott Mason, and this is our food show we call Yum. Pack your appetite and head to the beach. We begin at the dog house. Oh, it's crazy fun. Yeah. Fun. I love it. Crazy. I just fly by the seat of my pants. Santa, pull up those pants. A good group of people always in here. I'm having Greg's famous patty melt. The food. Oh gosh, we make everything. We make our chili. We make all our soups. But their burgers are out of this world. Best burger around. Start from nothing and end up with something great. The Doghouse Grill at Ocean Isle Beach. It's one of my favorite places. Dream the impossible. And it's something I've always wanted to do. You saw this and, and she liked it. This, this cozy little place. Warmer weather, beaches. Ocean Isle. And everybody that comes in here is like family. And we have each other's back. And they share each other's onion rings. Oh, you take two. Good people, good food, a good atmosphere, a good place to be. Even if you happen to be from someplace else. And I get to give the owners a hard time because they're Michigan Wolverine fans and I'm from the great state of Ohio. Go Buckeyes. Oh, yeah. You're going to eat the cookie first. Candy is the owner and Phil. We've been married 21 years and you can see that, that is really good. Candy's desserts. There's nothing I don't bake. There's nothing he doesn't cook. Breakfast, lunch. Our omelets are beautiful. Well, if it's for breakfast, I love the grit patty. That is a grit patty. The grits are famous for the grits, but all their sandwiches, they're very creative. They're just, they're different. I get the Tammy burger. I'm Tammy. Tuna fish, chicken salad. The quarter pound Nathan hot dogs that we put on the grill. What a menu. You haven't had my chocolate chip cookies with potato chips? Add it to the hot dog favorites. We're at home, and that's how I want my customers to feel. There's no place I'd rather be. Water out. It's my heart and soul. I love my job. I appreciate it, my friend. Bye-bye. Thank so you. Y'all have a blessed day, okay? Even when restaurants change hands, they're often still able to carry on their long tradition. It's very long. The counter. It's a long counter. It's a long time restaurant. Breakfast. How are the pancakes? Pancakes, I love them. They're amazing. That's my breakfast. Lunch. Hot dogs, cheeseburgers, hamburger steaks. I had the cowboy burger. It was fantastic. A burger with an onion ring. Look at that beauty. And honestly, it's the best onion rings I've had in ages. Gladys. Gracie's. I love Gracie's. Gracie's Grill in Clinton. Stepping back in time. A long time. Do a lot of people sit at the counter? They do. What makes the hot dogs so good? I don't know. They are good. I may be the pickle on top of it. I didn't love coming here. Gracie opened the place in 1979. Henry! And all that's really changed at Gracie is Gracie. Was it a tough decision to retire? It was very hard. Gracie ran the grill for more than 40 years. I did sell the grill. They wouldn't leave me alone. They kept coming back. Taking over what she created for so many years, it was a challenge. It's been always a dream. Dreams can have challenges. Are you glad you left Mexico all those years ago? I am part of it. When I say one day when I grow up, I'll go live in North Carolina, and I love North Carolina. A beginning and an end. It seems like you've left a legacy behind that people will always remember Gracie's Grill. Yeah. You think so? <laughs> Respect each other, be faithful, and work hard and God will pay you back, you know? And customers will keep coming back. Mm, it's great, yeah, I come here every, every day. You get used to their faces so much because how much they come in, it's nice. And I bet you like working with your husband. Of course I do, yes. And your daughter. My daughter, yes. And I love it, I love it. Is it in good hands? I think so. Put those hands to work. Measure the counter. How long is the counter? 32 feet long. Well, now that is worth remembering. You'll be remembered. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> I'll remember. Thank you, have a good one. 
In Moorhead City, Cox Family Restaurant. Family, the key word, and menu, too. They have an extensive menu. All right, we ready? Yeah. Got it figured out? Hmm, give us another meal. Food's always good. So much good food. We literally, like, have everything. Breakfast all day. That's what gets you in, oh yeah. Lunch and dinner keeps them in. I had veal today. Our seafood's great. Well, I had grilled tuna today. I got hamburger steak with gravy and onions, and I got mashed potatoes with gravy, and I got onion rings. Collard greens were exceptional, by the way. Our fried chicken, our breakfast is to die for. Back to breakfast. How lucky it's served all day. And all our desserts, like we have banana puddings, homemade. We enjoy it every time we come. And you can't beat the price. Ooh, that is good. And uh, just a very comfortable, cozy spot. A little spot in Moorhead City, a family restaurant. How are we doing? Doing great. Some people eat two or three times a day here. I've been eating here forever. I usually eat lunch here almost every day. We've been coming here about 45, 50 years, ever since from day one. Day one was in 1976. That's how they started. She waited the tables and he cooked the food in the back. His mom and dad, and just a tiny little place. There was no tourism when this started. It really wasn't much of anything here. But there was good food here. And more people came here, and the restaurant grew. And then we bought the building next to that. And grew. Great economy here in Moorhead City. I love the area. Clark County is God's country. Absolutely. Truly blessed. Blessed by such loyal customers. 30 years, probably. And such loyal staff. I have been working here about 24 years. And I love the place, or I wouldn't have stayed that long. <laughs> and they love people, and it's obvious. They love what they're doing. Hey, how we doing? The people are what brings it back. The people and the menu. Okie dokie, Smokey. Have a great day, Todd. Here in Salter Path is the famous Big Oak Drive-In, where everything is big. Well, as you can see, you get a monster sandwich. Nothing shrimpy about it. As much as my big hand can fit on the bun. It's a lot of shrimp. Shrimp burgers. I think this is probably world's best shrimp burger. We had two large shrimp burgers. So we'll do the shrimp next. Shrimp, boots, flip-flops. It's that kind of place. Hi. Hello, Big Oak. Great comfort food. Really good comfort food. Oh, look at them pretty scallops. Onion rings up. Slam to the hilt. That's a typical, really busy summer day. Bubbly. Flounder up. Thank you, Flounder. We've seen it wrapped all the way around the building. They have great burgers. They have some good barbecue. They have all kinds of license plates. We're from Kansas. We've been coming almost 40 years, and we just love it here. We are in Salter Path, North Carolina. Really good area. I love the beaches, and I got sand in my shoes. Emerald Isle is this way. Atlantic Beach is this way. They're both 12 miles. We are in the center of the island. I've been coming here since I was a little kid. Every time we visit Atlantic Beach or Beaufort. Family's been coming to Emerald Isle for as long as I can remember. You got to have Big Oak every time you come. 1956. That's when the Big Oak opened. A shrimp burger. I think that is the title to Big Oak Drive-In. We don't batter it with a heavy batter. Lightly dusted. So you can taste the shrimp. Would you like to have one? He would. We got uh, four shrimp burgers. All the way. Or all the way comes tartar, slaw, and ketchup. We're about to make these people some deliciously large shrimp burgers. Nothing shrimpy about them. I've had people literally tell me they've traveled six hours just to come here and eat one sandwich. People's love for this little drive-in is big. Thank you. It's here forever. Forever. Order Tar Heel Traveler books that celebrate the state. Fun and inspiring stories. Order at thetarheeltraveler.com and receive Tar Heel Traveler books autographed and personalized. Welcome back to this special yum edition of the Tar Heel Traveler. At Papa Jack's in Wilson County, there's burgers and fries and a store and a grill. It's a great place, good food, good people. It's Papa Jack's. You don't have country stores that you can go to like, like it used to be. And here you can come and talk to everybody and just have a good time. A delicious time. 
You don't come here if you're on a diet. 2044, dear. Highway 42, dear. Buckhorn. Good old buckhorn. Good old country cooking. I had a fried bologna sandwich today. We had the fish. I love to come when they have their butter beans. And she loves Papa Jack's biscuits. Lucy Lou. Yeah, we got a good spot. She loves it in here. In here, the convenience store. I like to come out here and just watch people. Watch on one side, eat on the other. We go both sides. We come every day. Sometimes twice a day. Are you glad you added the grill? Absolutely. Like you said, if you want to get worms and a fish sandwich, and this is the spot you need to come by. It's a local legend. Welcome to Papa Jack's near Wilson. My father, he used to own this store. My father, Papa Jack. In 1992, I decided I'd give it a shot. Tim continued what his granddad started. He'd always wanted to do it. He worked here as a teenager. I mean, it's, it's gave me a, a, a white head. But has the food given you a big stomach? <laughs> he built the grill onto the store. And it was probably the best thing we've ever done. It's been, it's been good. It's really good for the community. All the community comes together and talks. And eats and shops. You can come in here and find most anything, but the food is awesome. I'm always hungry. Yeah, we love it. A staple in the community. We're just very proud of what he's been able to do. Just treat people like you want to be treated. And feed them well. And feed them well, yes, sir. Jacksonville, a military town, but with a spicy slice of the Caribbean. This is oxtails. Oxtails? Yes, they are delicious. Oh my God, it melts in your mouth. You have the curry goat, very flavorful as well. Curry chicken. I love the curry chicken. And Miss Lucy will tell you, it's my favorite dish. I love to cook and that's what I do. The West Indian Kitchen. So a lot of people get us confused with Indian because of the West Indian Kitchen. The West Indy. So you have like Cuba, you have Puerto Rico. You have pig feet. Pig feet. Wonderful. I love it. I love this food, man. This reminds me of home. I grew up in the Virgin Islands, St. Thomas Virgin Islands, back in the 50s. <laughs> she became a police officer and a bodyguard. I was bodyguard to the First Lady of the Virgin Islands. She learned about long hours and discipline. I put a lot of seasoning in it. She learned about... Neck bone. Neck bone. And Johnny cakes. We cut them in the middle and we put cheese in them. And so this Johnny cake is the best. It's authentic. It just tastes great. I know she uses good quality ingredients and... She cooks it with love. She cooks it with her daughter. I know she takes so much pride in her food. I am so proud of my parents. Her dad. It's nothing like watching people. I mean, they suck in the bones, they suck in the fingers. They're really enjoying the food. Bone sucking good. <laughs> so right here, I am frying the beef empanadas. Empanadas. So delicious. I put carrots and potatoes. And piles on the oxtail. My husband eat them every day. Oh man, I love it, love it. I love watching people eat all their foods and the smile that goes with it. These taste really good. Good Caribbean at West Indian Kitchen in Jacksonville. They pig feet are so awesome. <laughs> the pig feet and the oxtail, that's what keeps me coming back. We're in Greenville and at Anita's, it's all authentic. Call it delicious in any language. Somos aquí toda la Mexicana. No, it's not Americana Mexican. We love to do everything here traditionally. Traditional Mexican. Any kind of food that you get here is real, real, like authentic Mexican food. So these are the steak nachos. Uh, they use like some gotilla cheese and some really fresh cilantro and tomatoes with their pico. Um, it's just delicious. It's always super fresh, so we're big fans. I'm getting a steak gordita, which is my favorite. It's like a corn little pocket, and then they stuff the meat and cheese in it. It's everything. <laughs> Viva Mexico. I'm originally from Mexico, but uh, I've been here since I've been probably three years old. As a kid, he learned to roll with it. That school, I was the only Hispanic in the entire school. In Greenville. Studied mechanical industrial engineering and uh, international businesses. But food, Mexican food, was always his passion. The salsa is so hot, but you have to have it. If you go to the taco spots in Mexico, you go to the restaurants in Mexico, this is what you're going to eat.
burritos. Our burrito is way two pounds. It's real huge. Yes, it is. Tacos. And then on the weekends, we serve what they call birria tacos. Tacos stuffed with slow cooked meat. And then all the broth that comes off the meat is served in a little cup for you. So you can eat the broth while you're eating the, the tacos. You will not be eating chips and salsa because that isn't authentic Mexican street food. We would have people literally get up from the table and leave just because we didn't have chips and salsa. Edwin had to work to prove his food was worth every bite. Everything good in this life never comes easy. But what is good can be very good. Anytime I can talk about Anita's, I do. I tell people to come here all the time because you can't really get it anywhere else. Hola, ¿cómo está? Anita's, since 2015, named after Edwin's mom. What have you learned about yourself? I really love cooking. <laughs> Don't give up. Don't give up. There's going to be struggles. There's going to be bumps along the way. But if you have the passion to do what you're doing at the moment, don't give up. I promise to you, it'll work out at the end. Welcome back to this special edition of the Tar Heel Traveler featuring restaurants and a food truck. The truck stays on the go, but we caught it at the State Fair. How are you today? 31. This is one big truck. 32. Appreciate you, man. Have a good one. With two cooks in the cabin. Slop buckets are going crazy. A slop bucket? So I have one slop bucket with pork. Comes with pork or chicken and barbecue sauce. Coleslaw, baked beans and mac and cheese on top of that. Ticket number 34. The owners are not much older than 34. 36. Yeah, 36. I can't remember. <laughs> They've been together a long time. 35. Lawrence and Perry, their last name. Thank you, man. Friends since they were kids. 1992, I believe. 92, kindergarten. They met in kindergarten in Warren County and loved to cook. I remember vividly one day me and RJ destroyed my mom's kitchen trying to make pancakes from scratch. This is probably second or third grade. The two kept cooking. One day we're having a Super Bowl party for the Carolina Panthers in 2015. And that was kind of like our unofficial first event we had. Then they had their food truck, established 2016. We love the vinegar based barbecue. 37. Hot selling barbecue. That's hot. Ever since COVID. Line so long just to get food to take back to the house so they wouldn't have to go anywhere else. I mean, that's kind of how it just blew up, really. 38. Two longtime friends and a food truck. Carolina Q Fry. And at the State Fair, business is coming in buckets. It's a blessing for us to be here. It's a blessing for us to be thriving. Thank y'all very much. We've got a lot, a lot of things in store in the future, for sure. You're welcome. Thank y'all. Mom and pop restaurants, in a way, they can provide a window into North Carolina, into the heart and meat of its people. Now this is the way we start. We sit and roll all this by hand. Burgers and dogs. Here's a hot dog, all beef hot dog. Throw them right on the grill. That's what we work on. Grilled dogs, thick chili. Well, it starts right here. Our homemade chili. My dad worked on this recipe for 13 years. His dad started the place. Number 59. Started it more than 50 years ago. It sure is a great place. Brooks Sandwich House in Charlotte. Oh, Brooks is a Charlotte institution. Number 18. Home of the world's best burger and hot dogs. Let me get two hot dogs all the way and then let me get an order of fries. Best chili dogs in town. Can't beat it. Number 31. And Daddy said, you know, I think it's time that we opened up a hamburger place here. People thought he, he was absolutely crazy. I said, you're out of your mind, man. Brooks, too blessed to be stressed. Number 52. The Sandwich House opened in 1973. Man, listen, when I started coming to Brooks, I really was surprised at how sometimes I could see the line going down the street. And little by little, our business build up, build up, build up, actually to where it is right now. David and his brother worked hard. Here's your number. To continue their dad's delicious legacy. That's the way you cook bologna. Is that pretty or what? Bologna and liver mush. It's a lot of liver mush. Liver mush, yeah. Cheeseburgers, hot dogs. My favorite's the chicken sandwich. They call me the sandwich assassin, so. <laughs> Quick on the draw. I get them in and out. I tried to. No waiting. The sandwich assassin. <laughs> you got good customers, but you make such good friends. 
And sometimes... Thank you. ...you need good friends. Have a great day. ...when good goes tragically wrong. Tell me about your brother. My brother, he was my, like my other half. Twins. I don't know if it was a premonition or maybe it was just a deep thought. I said, I need to pray a little bit harder for my brother because I prayed for him every day. The day was December 9th, 2019. He was shot and murdered at the front door. They got $100 off of him and that's all. It was so senseless, but you know, I can remember back praying for my brother. I asked the Lord, I said, just please, please take care of him. And the Lord did take care of him, took him home. When one window closes, Number 100. it often reopens. The outpouring of love was just so overwhelming that I knew I could go on. I actually love Brooks. They got the best burgers, I think, uh, in the state, or at least in this region. Continuing a legacy that my dad started. Thank you, have a good one. And it's just bringing joy to a lot of people, and that brings joy to us too. In Newton Grove, what had been an old store turned into a cafe. The old store, cafe. I think it's a great place. Wonderful people, just a place to come and enjoy each other's company. And enjoy the food. We come here every morning for breakfast. A big breakfast menu. I eat breakfast here every day, every day. Lunch, too. And you said six cheeseburgers? So our burgers are hand patted. Hand patted and popular. Their food is really good here. Their white corn's the best you'll ever taste. I had a country style steak today, tender melt in your mouth. I had deviled eggs, corn, and the chocolate cake is to die for. All their food's fresh. Just like being at home. I'm 68 and I've been coming here as long as I can remember. Coming to the Old Store Cafe in Newton Grove. She's got a scar to prove that I've been coming here. So you got bitten on the cheek? I did. Grabbing a bite at the Old Store Cafe. Well, when we were little children playing and I bit her. Tender. From my understanding, this was a very rough honky-tonk. The place was a honky-tonk back in the 30s. And it was a honky-tonk until the county became dry. Then it became a country store. It was a country store when I was a little boy. The old store became a cafe in 2004. And the very first day we were open, it was wall-to-wall -wall people. So I took it over in January of 22, so I was 23. Well, that's the ticket. Taking a chance when you're young. Do you feel you're good at it? Yeah, I feel like I'm good at it. <laughs> she loves her customers, knows everybody by name. And again, I think everybody that walks through the door just feels like a family member. It's family owned and all of it is good homemade cooking. It really comes from the heart. It really is good cooking, good country cooking. It keeps me busy for sure. And I hear the food is amazing. It is, it's pretty good. <laughs> Good eating all across the state. We hope you've enjoyed this delicious special edition of the Tar Heel Traveler. We'll see you again next time down the road. I'm Scott Mason, the Tar Heel Traveler. Order Tar Heel Traveler books that celebrate the state. Fun and inspiring stories. Order at thetarheeltraveler.com and receive Tar Heel Traveler books autographed and personalized.